Hey everybody, I'm Mark Walters of BigFanboy.com and I'm sitting here with the cast and crew from The Frontier, which is one of my favorite films of South by Southwest. Matt Rabinowitz, uh, the man behind the camera for this project, although we do get to see it in a little Hitchcockian type of cameo <laughs> in the film as well. Uh, the wonderful Max Gale, ladies and gentlemen, needs no introduction. Anastasia Sindek, did I say that correctly? Yes, you okay, did. I just want to make sure. And Coleman Kelly of the film as well. Uh, I really enjoyed this piece because I think it has an immediate relatability to it that everybody will find something in it that they can relate to, whether it's one particular character or one of the, the different things that's going on in the story. Uh, can you talk, let's start off with the obvious question, which was how this whole thing came about and the casting process and all of that. Right. Um, well, uh, myself and my co-writer, Carlos Colunga, <clears throat> we had been kind of dissatisfied with where we were professionally. And so we decided to just write our own movie and make it. And uh, it started as more of a romantic drama, which about the characters that would eventually become Tennessee and Nina. And at some point, we gave Tennessee a dad, and that was Professor Sean Sullivan. And his shadow loomed so large and so large, and just became a bigger and bigger character that it eventually became a father and son story. And um, we both took from our own personal relationships with our fathers and tried to make something relatable and real without being melodramatic and fakey. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's, that's the genesis of it. And once these guys came on, we, they had all their inputs and we um, started texturing that into the screenplay and making the characters more theirs. And, um, yeah, that's, that's how the frontier happened. Who was the first one to be cast in the project? Max was probably the first, yeah. or the first definite. Okay. Um, I had met Annie and Coleman uh, before that. They had worked with Carlos before. He's a teacher at the Lee Strasberg Institute, and they were his two prized students. And um, once I met them, there was definitely a part of me that was like, oh, I, I bet they'd be great in this. But yeah. Max was the first one that was fully committed, and from there the dominoes just fell pretty quickly, yeah. and uh, yeah, they, it was just great. It was, uh, it happened so quick once they signed on that it's, it's hard to, it's hard to, it's hard to know when, when, what happened when, because, yeah. you know, once they, they signed on, it just clicked, and everything, everything worked, so... Let's talk about uh, what did you guys think when you first read the material? Like, what were the thoughts that went through your heads about your respective characters? Coleman, why don't we start with you, and we'll come all the way back. I mean, I, I just thought it was very relatable from a standpoint of, <clears throat> I mean, from my personal standpoint, I think it was relatable in the sense that this guy goes out to sort of um, find his own independence to sort of shape himself as like a man, as a grown-up, and throughout his life, he had been living sort of underneath the shadow of Big Sean, and that's something that I think I, I related to right off the bat, was kind of needing to find out where I belonged, sort of where I, what I was about. And then when he comes back, he's confronted with all the reasons that he left, and he has this problem with um, communication, with speaking about what the problem is, dealing with um, Sean, sort of feeling a little bit undermined, feeling like a child again, and having trouble working through that. And that was the other difficulty I could relate to pretty quickly. Yeah. I started. Oh, I love the script because it was so real, and it wasn't melodramatic, even the way it was written. So you didn't have to, like, over... You don't... I don't know, it just felt very real. And I did, like... I love the father-son story, and everybody has so much conflict with their parents, I think, that isn't really talked about. And, um, yeah, I like the way, I like Nina leaving twice in the movie, yeah. <laughs> which is also hard, too, if you need to go. So I like that a lot. Well, and your character really becomes kind of the foundation that, that helps these guys, you know, right. find that, that peace, if, as it will, you know. That, yeah, and she's looking yeah. for her own peace. Yeah. Like, yeah, she got out of a relationship, to, she wants to, like, find some peace. She goes over here, the son comes home, she's stuck in, like, kind of, you know, yeah. Yeah. Max, when you're reading this material, is it, 
as an actor, you know, you've, you've done a lot of different movies and TV shows and things, but when you read this, there's a richness there in this character that I, I just adored watching you play this role. Can you talk a little bit about what was going through your head when you first read that script? Thank you. Well, um, <clears throat> well, I got a call from Elliot, who I've known uh, for as long as I've known Matt, back when our kids were in preschool, when Matt and my daughter were in, in uh, preschool, actually, together. Yeah. And, and um, uh, so, and he told me that uh, Matt was, uh, you know, had co-written a script and was going to direct it, and would I be interested in, you know, would I read the script, you know? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> you know, because of that, that uh, you know, the whole everything around it sounded good, and, uh, and I was, I was happy when I read it that you know there was a wonderful, you know. Um, Things changed. We found we found things when we got into rehearsing it and stuff that say, well, maybe that doesn't. You know, we, we it was an ongoing process, but there certainly was enough there. So I came over to their house and read with Coleman and and uh, and Anastasia, and uh, you know, you just could feel like this is this is a wonderful opportunity. And uh, you know, Elliot said, should I? Call your people or what? I said, I don't know. I'm, I'm in. You know, whatever, whatever you've, whatever you've got, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take it, and that'll be our deal. And we'll, we, you know, let's, I think let's the, go. Yeah, the first word said after that first reading, I think I asked Max. Uh, so, what are you doing in May? And he said this. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Was it interesting trying to find that balance too? Because uh, with both Max and Coleman, they they spend so much of the movie being at odds with one another, right? And finding a balance to where uh, it wasn't too much like it wasn't you know like you didn't want to get the sense these guys hated each other absolutely it's more of a sense of that they're frustrated with one another right yeah. that was very difficult and um you know we wouldn't have gotten there if max and coleman weren't so talented and 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 if they didn't have such a an ease at working with each other you know there was a lot of maybe rough patches where they had different ideas of where the scene was going, but I think even that worked because Sean and Tennessee have different ideas on where this relationship is going. So it was it was great. I mean, a lot of it was in the script, but once we started shooting, everything became so fluid, and so much of that are Max and Coleman yeah. as Sean and Tennessee, you know, finding the characters as they're doing it. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm not a director who is a slave to the script. If there's a better idea out there, I'd much rather do that. And they had some really great ideas, and I think they really nailed it. I think they they found that relationship and made it real. Yeah. And it's because of them that it doesn't come off melodramatic or, you know, soap opera-ish. Right, right. A lot of it was figuring out as we rehearsed, well, what, what actually went on? You know, mm -hmm. Did I actually fool around, or did right. I flirt a lot of what? And I mean, and, 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 but some of the things that we found that was interesting was what I might have thought and what you... Might have right. Yeah. The same. yeah. So yeah. you know, yeah. if you thought you did, yeah. you know, well, maybe he yeah. did. But I, all of that stuff, I think, probably worked for some of those moments that we had. Yeah, because we, in the end, it doesn't matter. We don't. No. We don't resolve those things, and we anyway, don't answer them. Know? Yeah. So it isn't like, well, let's figure out exactly what went. Right. Through. And right. I think we found that it was there was some other thing that can't be put into words, you know, and. What, who was it, Sandberg or someone said about a poem where somebody asked him, what did that poem mean? And he said, if I could tell you that, I wouldn't have to write the poem. <laughs> and I think that's true of films. You know, if you can spell it all out, well then, I mean, you, there are a lot of movies like that. But I think what makes this work is that it isn't all spelled out. Mm -hmm. It's not clear, and yet there's something truthful about it that, that, uh, that people are finding. And, um, and I credit Matt a lot with that, of being able to hold hold the space that everybody could create into. Yeah. Now, you guys had a screening here already at South by Southwest. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the reactions that you've been getting from people? What are some of the things people are saying to you about Generally it? positive. People seem to really connect to it in a way that couldn't make me happier and was exactly what I wanted. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people, you know, older people see themselves in Sean, younger people see themselves in Tennessee, and mm -hmm. it's it's incredible the sort of difference in perception and who who is on whose side. You know, a lot of women love Nina, and you know, see her as the hero, and you know, fathers love Sean and thinks that he's the hero, and younger people think that Tennessee is the hero, and that's exactly what we wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, so it's been overwhelmingly positive. It's really humbling and. 
so cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's cool just to be here, but that to be here and have people enjoy it is beyond words. What's your next step? Are you guys going to some more film festivals? Or? Yeah, we're doing a couple more film festivals. I think uh, we're playing the Phoenix Film Festival next month, and um, I think we have a couple more, but I, I don't know that information offhand. Okay, well, well, we'll find that out, and we'll post that down below. Oh, and cool. As yeah. you guys can see, I wanted to make sure I showed this here. This is the poster for Frontier, which uh, is very hard to hang, so I'm showing you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have plenty of information for you guys. It really is one of my favorite films of the festival. Thank you so and much, man. I appreciate so you much. guys taking out time to talk to us and everything. Oh, my Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Yeah.